Good morning peeps, here we are again today in another match here at Mulbarton Angling Club near Attleborough, Attleborough is just over the way there, we're now about to do the draw, here's all the fishermen in here. No, no net rules in here, whatever you like, one net, um, you won't exceed you only exceed 50. If you get enough, you will. Well, positive. Here we are, and they're going to do the. Probably realistically, you're looking for probably around 30 pounds. You reckon? Yeah, I reckon. Uh, someone may do extremely well, uh, but everyone will catch. I guarantee. If if someone doesn't, you don't catch, catch you're doing something. If someone doesn't wrong. catch a tench today, <laughs> I personally will return your catch. <laughs> All right. As long as you're using a 16 hook and a mess. You've heard it here. <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yeah, yeah go on in. Right, nobody wants to, I'll go first in. Here we go. I'll be first in. What peg do I want, Calvin? You can have peg one. Oh, I have peg four. Oh, I have peg six. Oh, I've got your peg, Steve. Yeah, you've got my peg six. Right. Let's go and check out peg four. Catch you in a bit. Right then, peeps. My setup today is I'm doing a, a voiceover for this because I forgot to turn the microphones on. Duh. Well, I've got three t uh, top kits set up. One over there by those bushes in the shade there so I can see it. Top two and uh, two. One over there, seven sections in the middle. And one on that side is top two and two again. Right, my bait today is I've got um, a friend of mine got me some maggots, if I can get the lid off. <laughs> I always forget to get the lids off when I'm ready to come to show you what I've got for bait. Lovely red maggots, I've got Sweet Sensei on the micros and a bag of Squeeze Ready ground bait. Now what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to have three different swims and use three different baits. That one out there is going to be for maggots which I've got here, which I'm going to put the red sensate on them, the red sensate powder, and then the swim over the left-hand side there, I'm going to use, oh, I was talking about Keith over there, and everybody else is down there. That's Lloydie, and then Pete, and then the others are all down there. All right, and the three swims are going to be baited up any minute now, and it's a snake lake, it goes around that left hand side and down there, there's 10 pegs on here today. Right, let's have a look at my kit in a minute, I'll show you in a bit. Right, this rig is for the um, top two and two, over there on the right hand side, and it's an F1 matrix float. And it is, uh, so I put my glasses on because the writing on those floats are so small. You have a job to read even with reading glasses on. <laughs> but that's for the right hand one there and that is about five feet deep. That's for that one there. As I just pointed out, I must stop forgetting to put the mics on. <laughs> and this one is a float that Calvin gave me. This is the float that's... I'm using out long with seven sections and that is six feet three inches. I measured that before I went there. All right, so let's get that one ready and we'll go down there and I'll be with you in a minute to feed the swims up. Right, that's just a minute or so to go for the all in. So I've got my catapult ready. Um, I'm going to fire maggots over at the long swim, but I'm going to put uh, pellets or micros in the left hand swim and on the right hand swim I'm using the squeeze ready ground bait right any second now and they just shouted all in all in here we go right let's start here we go come on get that fed up over there feed the long swim with the maggots first with the pole you can start that should be just all small fish. Apparently in this lake, it's called the canal, and it's just got about four or five rogue carp in there. They're about up to 20 pounds, so we've got to watch out. So I'm doing the swim. Which one I've got to, which one am I doing first? I can't tell. <laughs> I'll be able to see in a second. If that's the right-hand swim, yes, that's the squeeze ready ground bait on that one there 
drop that in and I'll come back and I'll see which swim I do next. Or the other way round. <laughs> yeah, the squeeze ready is gone on the other swim. I got them the wrong way round. <laughs> oh dear, I must switch them mics on. Hey ho. We'll do it like this for now. We'll get by. And it's top turn threes, the two, the left swim and the right swim. I kept saying top turn two, it isn't top turn threes. So I've got the fifth section on my elbow. So I know exactly how far I'm going out. And this is a new place for me as well. Get back to you in a bit. Now this time I had a nice perch, as you can see, like it's a pound and a bit perch. And I thought the hook was in it, but it wasn't, that was in the net, so it came out, so that was handy. But I noticed, I just caught it by my eye, there's a, a feeder hook link. They'd lost the whole link, they got the feeder back, but obviously I'd, I'd probably lost a lot. But I had a job to get this out, because that's, <laughs> as you can see, a very awkward try and get it out there and a short hook link that was in it you can see the clip just above my thumb there I'll zoom it in when I do the edit and so you can see what I meant so somebody lost a nice perch and using catching a perch on a method feeder was a bit strange but there we are it's a bit fiddly but I managed to get it out as you can see look there's a feeder link still got the rubber link on it as well Still, he's all safe now, and that's a lovely perch. Do well. Let's get back in.
I don't, the last few times, I don't think I switched my mics on. I got so excited because I'm catching fish. But here we go, I'll feed out there and I just lost one. That felt a bit of fish. But it's gone. There you go, it's a bit quiet for most, but I've had 25 fish on the clicker now. I think I turned the mics off just to save the battery. And I, every time I turn them on, I forget to switch them back on again. When I've talked to the camera, I'll do a voiceover. Oh well. Someone saying that's very quiet. On my right hand side, he said two bites and two tinge. That's it. It's actually getting quite warm as well. Sometimes I just lift it and drop it. Be surprised how many times I caught a fish doing that too. Yeah, say sometimes that can quieten off a bit after an hour or so and then that come back on again. Oh well, I'll get back to you shortly. Right, I've just lost three fish on the way in, so I'm going to change the hook. See if that's causing a problem. Felt reasonable fish as well. Put them down in the bag. Got to try a size 16 Kaizen this time. Where was I looking? I looked here, just found some, and I. <laughs> where did I look here? Here they are. At four inches, I've got to plumb up. What I'll do is I can judge it on the thing that you can Got to move the depth of the float. It says I lost three fish, that can only be the hook being blunt, although it seemed alright when I put the maggots on. I'll get this sorted and I'll get back to you. Loads of these. It's a good one. That's a better one. That's 29 fish. Good, good, good. As you can see, I'm just putting the, the maggots have got the sweet sensate on them. No, sorry, the red sensate powder and the pellets have got the sweet. So I just put a pinch of both. And get out there with them. I'm going to take one of my jumpers off. It's warmed up. Tap them in. Oh, motorboys, you can hear them, but they're not a pain. They're actually not too bad. Right, let's get a head down again. See if I can get another 29. <laughs> Some people are wandering around, that's so quiet for them. Oops. Yeah, I missed that one. That was a good bite. I'm still getting the odd bite, but like I said a little while ago, I missed three. Oh, here we are again, another little one, I think. We've 
got this time another little rud. Took it right down again. Yes, good fishing at the moment. Yeah, the maggots are alright, look. So I'll just go another pinch. Pinch of maggots with the stuff on and a pinch of pellets or micros. As I don't dip them because I don't want to dip them, you see, because I take the flavouring off the maggots. So I guess I make sure I ship out nice and steady. Right to that divot out there. Number seven section on me hand on my leg and then lower it down and drop them in and lift it because let the float get into the bait like that let it down gently don't want to get tangled on the way down and there's the float upright that's it oh it's gone under straight away here we are Nothing big, but at least I'm catching fish. That's 30 fish now. One of the maggots are mullet, let's put another one on. Just keep the same thing going. Pinch of maggots, pinch of micros. out nice and steady because if you don't dip them you see you ain't only got to bump up gently and that'll knock everything out of the pot let's turn it over feed them again if that works like it I'll keep doing it mate that's it Let's see if we can catch another one with you, lovely people watching. Go away, I'm fishing. But then again, it might be Kelvin, actually. I'll see if he's catching fishes. A few pegs down that way. Let's see if it is Calvin, see what he's catching down the way there. No, it isn't. That's blooming old message, I expect, then that can wait. Come on, fishies. All I can see down that way is poles. <laughs> Sometimes I've had a fish lifting and dropping. Motorbikes must have stopped for dinner, I think. Right, let's see if I can get a few more and I'll get back to you when I've got any news. <coughs> Just as I turned you off, the float went down. What 
we got this time. Oh, what we got here? Oh, that's a lovely roach. Look at that beauty. Look at that for a roach. I'll show my next door neighbour. I say, James. Lovely roach, isn't it? Lovely roach. And this is no roach. I've got something a bit bigger this time. Let's see what we've got here. I've got uh, eight, 10 slick elastic on here. As you can see, it's the green for the small roach and stuff, but let's see what we've got here. Let's just stand still. Just lying, I hope he snagged up. That's still on there, but that's, that's gone around a lily pad. I'll see if I can scoop it out of it. Be very careful. Gone into a lily pad because there's a leaf just come up there. Let's see if I can get it out. Blast! Hope I don't lose that. Let's see if I can shift it. Definitely got a fish on it, but there's one leaf gone. I can still feel it moving around, look, you can see it. I got given rid of another one. <laughs> it's so deep here, it's a job to reach it. Yeah, I got a fish on though. Yeah. As a fish took me down there. Uh... I'll see if I can get it out. I'll catch you in a minute. <laughs> I got him. I managed to break the lily. No, it's a tench. Yeah. Brilliant. I got him in. Thank God for that. He wrapped himself around the lily bracelet. Here we are. I thought that was better than a roach. Little tench, do well. Oh, there's a bit of luck. <laughs> Another nice little roach. Still going. That's 35 fish. Look at that, look, and it didn't touch the maggots, so I'll leave them on. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll keep going. Just maggots this time, no pellets. Just top the bot up so you don't bounce them out. Like that. Nobody's catching fish at the minute. But me. I just see Pete get one over the way, a bit two pegs down. Oh, he's in again, I can see him. I can see his elastic come out. <laughs> just bang it in like that. Sometimes you just lift it and drop it. Only lift it a bit that much and drop it and that snare of fish seeing it come in. I don't know if you can see my float out there. You see, I'll try when I do the thingy. And I'll do the edit and I just lift it like that. And I found out on my analytics as 87% of you people 
out there not subscribed you're watching my videos just hit that button subscribe button and hit the thumbs up I've got something down in my feed there now I'll have to go on there I can see bubbles coming up so I'll have to have a go down there in a minute right, let's see how we get on in a minute I'll catch you in a bit rain again I'm not going to bring it in too quick this time because I don't want to bring it in that lily pad feels much better probably a tench feels like a tench where it's bouncing around <laughs> it looks like a tench I just said yes it is Lovely. <laughs> Lovely job. Beautiful tench, aren't they? Oh, everybody's favourite. Well, peeps, that's about a minute to go, and my swim went dead. A lot of people's went dead ages ago, but I had a, the odd fish or two. Ah, here we are, right on the cusp of the shout, I think. They're about to shout, and I've got a little old fish on. <laughs> that's a perch. With the size of that <laughs> and he's took it right down how did he do that poor little fella <laughs> tiny little thing <laughs> oh well what is that 40 fish all out that's it that's your lot and they're onions <laughs> 40 fish Excuse me. Right, let's see what we got for weight. They won't be a lot, I don't think. Not with 40 little buggers like that. Right, I'll catch you at the way in a little while. But just before I do, don't forget to subscribe. It is free, absolutely free to subscribe. And I'll catch you at the way in. <laughs> right, peeps, let's see what my weight goes. They beat me to it while I was setting the camera up. I can't remember if I did. I don't think I did. Oh, if you can't. <laughs> 7.14. How much? 7.14. Is that all it is? Feet, you. 7 pound 14. Yeah. <laughs> 7 pound 14. I thought I had more than that with 40 fish, but they were so small. I'll train him one day. Right, peeps, here's the sheet. I've got to go and get a pound for Kelvin, because he's beat me by three ounces for the pound. But you can see Brian there got 25 pound odd. Very low weights today. They were all very surprised. Still, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>